Students from across the district gathered at UBCO this weekend to compete in the first LEGO League Robotics competition, where students must build and program a robot that can complete a number of tasks. The teams here are using uh, LEGO Robotics kits, um, and the robots, in order to complete their missions in the robot game, they have to be uh, autonomous. So in other words, they, the students have to program the robot ahead of time to basically go in and try and complete as many missions as they can in, in two and a half minutes. And today is all about showcasing their learning. So they're here to uh, share their innovation project. They're here to show their robot design. They're here to uh, show their core values and they're here to participate in a robot game. Sometimes they can be awesome to work with. Sometimes they can be a pain. Um, and yeah, sometimes you have great runs and then you're feeling awesome and sometimes they just don't go how you want Yeah, Like the yellow, uh, the big block is the brain, then there are the wheels, and then a lot of people have extra stuff, but me and Grayson here, we just put a uh, barrier and a arm, which does most of the work. Between the ages of 9 and 14, the program aims to teach these kids a variety of skills, giving them complete control of how they want to go about the competition. Well, there's definitely lots of like 21st century skills that the kids are focused on. I mean, problem solving, critical thinking, obviously there's lots and lots of trial and error. Um, you know, coming up with a strategy. This is supposed to be very kid driven. So the kids come up with the strategy, they come up with the robot design, they choose with which missions they think they can accomplish and, you know, what, what they're gonna, how they're going to approach the robot game. A number of awards were handed out at the end of the competition, with some of the top teams getting an invite to Provincials, which takes place in Vancouver later this spring. I'm Brad Nursel in Kelowna for Castanet.